Hey guys and welcome back to the Somewhere Library. So I'm Marta, uh, if you're new here, welcome. If you have been here and you're coming back, thank you so much for coming back. So um, I don't want to be doing a very long introduction because I know I tend to rambling a lot. So yeah, let's be brief. So today's video is going to be about the books that I'm most excited about for, uh, that are coming out from September to December of this year. So yeah, new releases, <laughs> let's start talking about them. So um, I'm gonna be doing them in order of publication and there are three of these books that I'm really, 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 really trying to read. And yeah, but um, let's start. So first book I am super, 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 super excited about is uh, American Royals by, by Catherine Mackey. And this one had already come out on September 3rd. And the premise of this book is quite interesting because <laughs> what if America had a royal family? Yeah, I mean, I I was sold on, on that line alone. So apparently after the independence war finished, uh, George Washington was handled the crown and flash forward <laughs> to the future to now, um, there wasn't still the royal family in America. And they have three kids now. So for first one, I think it's Beatrice. She's gonna be the first queen in American history. Uh, second is Samantha, I think, to recall. And she doesn't care about anything but the only boy she the, cannot have. <laughs> and last one is Jeffrey. Jeffrey. Jefferson. Sorry. And the last one is Jefferson, who, if had been born a generation early, would have been king as and now he's not and he is involved in apparently a love triangle so it sounds like following our yeah royals um living their lives and that sounds really cool i like i mean come on who doesn't love um royals at uh, royal we uh which more which more uh i mean all the movies they do about william and kate and megan and harry and all those stuff yeah i mean royals are cool Next book I'm really really excited about is She is the Wars by Lauren Spiller and this one is uh, had also come out on September 3rd and apparently this one is for those who loved 10 things I hate about you yeah that movie that was so funny so this follows two sisters that apparently hate each other and uh, when the younger one discovers then the older one is not going to college away from home. They decide to spend a day together reconnecting with each other and finding their secrets. Sounds cool, right? Uh, next one, coming out September 10th, which at the time I'm filming the video has come out just this week. It's, if I mean, not my most anticipated release of the year, but one of my most anticipated releases of the entire year. And it's Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco. And it's the final book in the Stalking Like the Ripper series. And I'm waiting for my copy. And I'm just, I mean, I can see, you can see I'm, I'm, I'm nervous about it. So I'm really, really looking forward to read this book because I completely love Stalking Like the Ripper. I loved even more um, Hunting Prince Dracula. Escaping from Houdini was just mind blowing. I felt kind of cheated with the Thomas novella, uh, which was Becoming the Dark Prince, but still i really really love it and gave it uh i believe five out of five stars as well and this one is the conclusion and i want to get what i want to, to, to you know to have this story solved as i want and i don't know if i'm getting that and i'm nervous and yeah but i'm really really dying to read that book uh also coming out on september 10th we have the Lady Rock, and this one sounds amazing. Just yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, I don't remember the name of the main character because I'm terrible at remember names and synopsis. So I don't know how I'm even doing this video, but yeah, never, no, never mind. So in this one, we follow a girl who wants to go with her father, who is a scavenger, a scavenger hunter. Sorry, words are a problem. So uh, back to the book. So this girl wants to. All, all she wants to do is go with his father, with her father, who is a, scave, a scavenger hunter, and he. She's not allowed. The only person who is allowed to go with her father is his uh, helper named 
hook I think to remember and everything changes one day when this guy comes back without her father and so they embark on a journey of finding the father and I think this might have something to do with Prince Dracula because I read that they were going to um, the Carpathos? 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 I don't know how to say the word in English, Carpathos, I think it is, which was um, where the castle of, which was not, which is where uh, Dracula's castle is. So, sounds amazing, really, really looking forward to this. Yeah. Next one, also coming out on September 10th, is The Thousand Doors of January by Alex E. Harrow. So, this one, I, I don't know if I can explain this book because Premise wise sounded cool, but I I cannot tell you a word of it because it was weird. So apparently January uh, lives in a house with the master and she's completely ignored, completely forgotten until all of a sudden she finds a book which uh, takes her to different places. And I don't know if this is like she's gonna read the book and find herself in those different places, but I'm betting that the book is gonna be like a portal to different realms or something like that and it sounds really really interesting to me because I love like the premise in which you're in a war and then you find a portal to another war and you are in that war and so, yeah it sounds really really good actually I think that was really well done in Queen of Earth and Darkness and in one of my all time favorites which is over there uh, which is uh, Memorias de Dune by Laura Yeo, which is an Spanish, who is an Spanish author so yeah I love that premise um, also no, also no. On September 24th, we have Way War Song by Rainbow Rowell. And I am really, 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 really looking forward to this one. It's not one of my most anticipated, but uh, I'm just so excited about this one. So, is the second part to Carry On? I didn't know she was doing it because Carry On actually is quite close. But this one apparently is about, I mean, when you read a book, a book about a chosen one, you get the ending, which is what we got and carry on. But you often ask yourself, I mean, what's the chosen one doing afterwards? And that's what this book is about, apparently. So apparently Simon is depressed, stuck in the couch. And so his best friend and boss took him to America on a road trip in which you're gonna be finding vampires, werewolves and all kinds of magical creatures and get lost. So yeah, sounds cool, sounds fun, sounds like something that would happen to me, totally. So yeah, uh, next one coming out also 24th of September is The Bone House by Emily Joy Jones. And this one, it's on my list because it says that it was preferable for, that it was perfect for fans of Biggie Strap. I need to start to speak slow to not mix words together. So yeah, so this one is perfect for fans of V.E. Schwab and I was sold by it. But apparently this one is about a girl who is only preoccupied with her family, her family and her cemetery. Sounds weird, I know. Especially, I mean, it sounds weird when I'm interested on it because I hate cemeteries. I'm terrified by them. Um, story time about the cemetery any other time. But yeah, so... <laughs> Uh, sounds cool and apparently this girl is in charge of everything after her parents died she's in charge of her siblings and the cemetery and the corpses apparently start waking up I don't know sounds cool sounds fantasy sounds dark, like dark fantasy and sounds interesting so we shall see how that goes uh, next one we're moving uh, on to October now next one is the Beautiful by René Adier. I have another book by this author that I have yet to read. I think it's somewhere over there. Actually, it's there. So yeah, I have another book by, that, by this author that I have yet to read. And I don't know if I like her writing, but this book is a paranormal romance and I am all for it. In fact, I am starting a paranormal romance club. Uh, I mean, we have already started, we are reading Twilight, but from December on, we're going to be reading a book a month, uh, different from Twilight, and I'm really, really looking forward for that one. Uh, so this one is uh, set in New Orleans, there is a vampire, it sounds so cool! 
Uh, next one is also on October the 8th, The Widow of Rose House by Diana Villar. And this one is about a woman who became a widow. Uh, I think it's in, in the 1800s, not sure. So she becomes a widow and goes back to New York. And apparently her mansion in, in I don't remember where, it's kind of enchanted and she hires someone to help her solve the mystery. So yeah, sounds cool, sounds right up my alley. And yeah, next one that I am really, really looking forward to is Sister <laughs> Sisters of Shadow and Light by Sarah B. Larson. This one sounds incredible. It's about two sisters. Uh, that uh, lives in a citadel with magic and all that stuff and her their dad is murdered and the older one inherits the power the powers of the dad and she's trapped and they are trapped and then someone comes into the village and they go away or something like that sounds good sounds cool to me don't remember the premise yeah that's that's usually me so yeah and this one the next one I'm gonna talk about we're jumping into November and this one I mean I just discovered this book was coming out and I am freaking out Erin Morgenstern author of the Night Circus is coming out with a new book this year and it's called The Starless Sea I don't know what this book is about I don't want to know I want to go into it as blind as possible because that's how we went into the Night Circus and completely love I yeah, yeah, I'm just so excited. Um, I think Erin Morgerson has a very whimsical and very magical way of writing and yay, it's it's incredible. I, I'm really, really looking forward to read this book. And the last one, uh, which is coming out on December, I don't remember if it was the 30th or the 31st, but it's called Husband Material by Emily Belden. And this one, um, I want to read it because it sounds similar plot-wise to uh, Forever Interrupted by Taylor Jenkins Reid but I think this one has a, a comedy twist so this one is about a widow who goes away and makes sure that no one in her new lives knows that she is a widow and five years later her husband and she are sent to her and she has to go and face her mother-in-law and the best friend of the uh, of her husband. So it sounds like the best friend of the husband might be the husband material guy, who knows? And yeah, so my top three of this list, uh, oh shit, I forgot to talk, to talk about uh, The Ninth House by Liverduco. That one is coming out November 1st. Yeah, I think it's, it's November 1st. I have here on my list. Yeah, no, of the... Oh, October 1st. So, that one is coming out October the 1st. It's incredible. I mean, it's incredible. I haven't read it. Uh, it sounds incredible. I think it's um, it's the first Libre Dugo book that it's written for adults, which sounds interesting because all I've read is her YA books. I've read uh, over here all of the Grisha Bears with the exception of this one, which I'm currently reading. Not really loving it, but yeah, that's a topic for another day. So, uh, it's about a girl who has like a ch second chance in, in life and she is sent to one of the most prestigious schools in the world with everything paid, but there's like a twist to it because apparently uh, she has to infiltrate some secret society. I think that was it. So yeah, so my most anticipated, my, my top three of these ones are uh, Capturing the Devil, for sure. I'm really, really looking forward to that one. The Ninth House, uh, by Libra Dugo. And, oh my god, it's raining. Uh, yeah, sorry, <laughs> I have the attention span of a fly. And uh, the one, The Starless Sea by Erin Morgerson. I am dying to read all these books, so yeah. So, I think I've covered pretty much everything I wanted to cover in this book, in this book, in this video. Uh, and um, yeah, please let me know what are some of your most anticipated releases of the year, of, I mean of the year, of, from September to December. And if there is any that I haven't included in this list, in this list, 
please let me know because I always love uh, book recommendations to include into my TBR because as you can see I have no books to read and that's pretty much all see you in the next video bye bye <laughs>